Welcome to this, the fourth DVD in the series produced by the Greater Wigston Historical Society about our local area. In this DVD, we'll be looking at the development of South Wigston and some of the early buildings and businesses. What was the area like before the development of the canal, railway and the village? The area known as the Great West Field of medieval Wigston was fertile farmland with a small but important watercourse called the River Sense. The course of the river proved to be especially important for the initial development of the area as the building of the Leicestershire and Northampton Union Canal in 1793 followed the course of this river. The canal revolutionised the speed and quantity of movement of coal, local gravel, Mount Sorrel granite, limestone and other important commodities, both to our area and farther afield. It was, however, ironic that the products carried, that is gravel and stone, were mainly used to build roads, which eventually led to the decline of the canals. The canal company built wharfs at Blaby and Kilby Bridge, with the latter being further enhanced with a maintenance yard. Both were to play a large part in the build-up to the development of South Wigston. For the next 50 years after the arrival of the canal, the area to the west of Wigston Magna changed little from the quiet farming community, with one exception. Road improvements were being made both on the Turnpike Road from Leicester to Northampton and also on the smaller routes that included the road from Wigston Magna to Blaby. Old mud roads were no longer able to handle the increased heavy wagon traffic, so road improvements had to be made. Stone carried in by canal was used to improve the roads and make them suitable for the additional traffic between Wigston Magna and Blaby. Wagon sizes continued to grow from small traps to large goods wagons, the latter getting bogged down on the unmade roads. Then came the railway. In 1840, the first of three railway lines was opened between Leicester and Rugby by the Midland Counties Railway. The age of the railway had arrived, and with it, a need for growth. Over the next 24 years, two more railway lines were opened. These were the Midland Railway, Leicester to London via Hitchin in 1857, and later, the South Leicestershire Railway in 1864, between Leicester and Nuneaton. The railway had become a driving force for change, and the area where the three lines diverged became known as the Wigston Triangle, and was ripe for development. By 1888, the railways had developed large sidings and a maintenance facility employing many people, all of whom needed housing. Whilst the railway companies had purchased land for their tracks and stations, there was little in the way of development to the west of the Leicester to Rugby line. The key asset was a station which served the Wigston Magna and Blaby areas. The concept of an entirely new settlement is attributed to a single individual, Mr Orson Wright from Dunton Bassett. Although essentially a speculative builder, he was a man of many talents and recognised the potential for a new conurbation to be developed between the railways on two sides and the canal on the other side of a triangular plot of land. 
The land was purchased in 1883. But prior to this land being available, he had already built two blocks of houses in Glengate and Station Street to house his own workers and some railway employees. He was an early entrepreneur and developed many businesses including brickmakers, builders, contractors, iron founders, stonemasons, blacksmiths, wheelwrights, joiners, boot and shoes and an elastic web manufacturer to mention just a few. Orson realised the great commercial possibilities of an area served by three railway stations and two main lines and set about encouraging manufacturers to establish their works amidst country surroundings yet within easy reach of Leicester. He purchased the Orange Estate in 1883 and immediately started to advertise properties and factories for development and sale. He advertised land, factories and living accommodation to businesses who wanted excellent railway connections and a better environment for their workers. <music>